All right, so I'm going to show you how to correct or update your odometer and speedometer for a change in tire size on Ford vehicles via four scan. Specifically, I'm going to be doing this on a 2016 F-150. Um, the process is similar for any Ford vehicle that you can use four scan on, but the specifics may differ a little bit depending on your vehicle. Uh, but this should be a very similar process. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to assume that you already know how to set up 4Scan and how to connect it to your vehicle. If you don't know how to set up 4Scan, I'll go ahead and provide a link to my other video that shows you how to set up 4Scan onto your vehicle. Um, but I'm going to assume that you know how to do that already. So you can see here that we are already connected to my vehicle. Um, so we're going to open up a internet browser tab here and uh, go to one of these two spreadsheets and I'll provide links to these in the description. So there's two methods you can do. Um, this spreadsheet is a list of uh, people from the F-150 community that have provided or done the work and provided their results for you to use. Um, I'm actually doing a Falcon Wild Peak AT3W in 275718 on this vehicle. And so I can see that this, this individual has gone ahead and done the work and shown that this is a, a valid value, uh, and he has verified that via GPS. Um, and I can see that actually the guy above him with a different tire and the same size has also come up with that same value. So I can be pretty confident that is going to be a good value for me to use, um, and that's the one I'm going to use. But I'm going to show you another way that you can find out what value you should use if you don't have if your tire size isn't listed here. So then you can come over to this spreadsheet, which I'll also provide a link to, and it's a calculator. And so all you do is you put in your tire size, your section width, profile, and uh, wheel diameter, and it's gonna spit out a code for you. And you'll notice it's a different value. It's slightly different, and I don't know exactly what the difference is, but it's basically, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking it's just the difference between a calculated and real world value. Um, this uses an algorithm that converts the uh, wheel diameter, or I'm sorry, the wheel circumference in millimeters into a hex value, which is what you're putting into the um, body module. And this is uh, a calculated value based off GPS speed. And actually, you can do that here too. You can do the long leg work down here uh, if you want to do that as well. Um, so you can use whatever method you want. I'm going to go ahead and take this, this value right here since it seems to be a pretty reliable value since two people have confirmed it to be accurate by GPS. Uh, so 09E7 is the value I need. You'll notice these X's are here, four X's before and after. Those indicate values that are in 4Scan that you don't need to change. So you'll notice that when we go over to 4Scan. So 09E7. So we're going to go over to 4Scan, Modules tab, and you're going to go to the Body Module, and it's the As Built Data Module. So I'll go ahead and open that, click OK. It's going to load up, and it's going to prompt you, say you should make a backup before you do anything, and that's probably a good idea. So I would like to click Save All, and I've already made a backup here, but I'm going to go ahead and click that. I will overwrite that file, and here we are. So the line we're looking for is 726-1201. You remember we had those four X's, so that's four entries we don't need to modify. And then this was our, our uh, value, and then four more X's that we don't need to change. So we're going to go ahead and put our value in here. It was 09E7, and we'll hit Write All. It's going to prompt you to make sure that's what you want to do. Click Yes. Click Yes. It's going to write over that data and your truck should confirm the change in just a moment. All right, so click OK. Go ahead and restart the truck, turn the ignition off and on, and you should have a corrected speedometer and odometer. I would encourage you to go ahead and download a GPS app onto your phone. They're pretty accurate these days. And then just uh, head out and make sure that it is in fact accurate. Um, for your own peace of mind. I'd also like to mention that on some vehicles, you will get an error code. I believe it's the 17 and 18 model F-150s with the 10-speed transmission, uh, where you'll get a, a DTC code and a wrench light on the dash. So if that happens, go ahead and close out of your body module, go back to the modules tab, and then up here where it says PCM 
module initialization and relearn vehicle data, go ahead and run that that service and it should clear the value or clear the code and get rid of the light for you. And after that, you should be all done. Go ahead and verify your results, like I said, with the GPS app and uh, you know you should be good to go. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, if this was helpful, go ahead and give me a like or subscribe and um, I will put links to everything that you need in the description below.